Hey, what's up, guys? Joel Benavides with the Block Squad Podcast. This 42nd episode on March 17th, 2019. It's 8.30 p.m., well, a minute till, and uh, we're going to run through the squawk and talk about the chart and maybe a couple of trending news stories per the norm uh, with intermittent commentary as needed. So uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm pulling up uh, coin market cap data right now. And I kind of liked doing the top 20 like we did yesterday. So let's stick to that and uh, and go from there as needed. Uh, but before I do start, I just want to mention that uh, Bitcoin is trading right now at 4,000 even. Uh, and uh, okay, I'm, it just changed like 4,002, 4,003. It's 4,002 and 98 cents at this moment, exact moment. Um, and uh, there's some interesting things happening in the charts, but we'll get to that momentarily. So uh, top 20 NEM by the symbol XEM and at 20th trading at 5 cents. That's up 2.42 points on the day, up 13.16 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume, 17.8 million. Ethereum Classic ETC in at 19th trading at 4.5. That's up 0.27 points on the day, up 3.65 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 183.2 mil. Ontology ONT in at 18th, trading at 1 and 14. That's up 6.97 points on the week, 19.12 points on the, or I'm sorry, correction, 6.97 points on the day, 19.12 points on the week. And 24-hour trade volume was 62.5 mil. NEO by the same symbol in at 17th, trading at 9 and 36, down 0.41 points on the day, up 5.74 points on the week. And 24-hour trade volume was 291 million. Maker MKR in at 16th, trading at 7.03 and 45, up 1 and 3 quarter points, for the day up two and three tenth points on the week 24 trade volume 1.1 million uh empower coin uh, i still don't know what's up with that i did some cursory research i don't know why empower coin is sharing the 15th slot with dash um but i do know that it has something to do with uh like democratic platforms and stuff like that so uh it's been on there for a couple of days with a seven day growth of like 5.8 million percent which is like absolutely ridiculous uh it's way less than a penny i think the numbers are just right i haven't really punched through the numbers but some of the numbers are ridiculous like i think it's like 8.7 trillion in power tokens and uh with just a weird price and market cap so but i'll do further research on that i promise skip over that for now dash same symbol in at 15th by market cap trading at 94 and 66 that's up 2.2 points on the day up 13 and a quarter points for the week 24 hour traded volume 239.9 mil iota by the symbol myota and at 14th Trading at 30 cents, that's down 1.46 points on the day, up 6.12 points on the week, 24 hour traded volume, 19 million. Monero XMR in at 13, trading at 53 and 79, that's down 0.44 points on the day, up 6.13 points on the week, 24 hour traded volume, 120.9 mil. Bitcoin SV, BSV in at 12, trading at 69 and 87, up 2.08 points on the day, and up four and three quarter points on the week, 24 hour trade volume, 90.6 million. And Cardano ADA in at 11th trading at five cents. That's uh, up exactly a third of a point. Okay, it just changed. Up half a point on the day and up 11.62 points on the week. 24 hour trade volume was 27.9 mil. And uh, moving into the top 10 now, guys, moving into the top 10, I'm just gonna uh, jump over here because uh, I take issue with that particular song. Uh, while I'm reading Apogee Crypto. Uh, uh, moving into uh, the, the top 10 now, uh, Tron TRX, my, one of my faves. Uh, TRX in a 10th by market cap, trading at 2.3 cents. That's up 0.38 points on the day, up 1.9 points on the week, 24 hour trade of volume, 157.9 million. Tether USDT in at 9th, trading at 101, down half a point on the day and down uh, one, uh, 0.14 points on the week. Uh, 24 hour traded volume on Tether, guys, was at 7 uh, billion, 7.2 billion. Uh, Stellar XLM in at 8th, trading at 11 cents, up 1.3 points on the day, up 10 points even on the week. 24 hour traded volume, 151 mil. 
Uh, Binance BNB in at seven, trading at 15 and 83, down half a point for the day, and up just over eight and three quarter points for the week. 24 hour traded volume, 131.6 million. Bitcoin Cash, BCH in at sixth, trading at 166.89, up 8.6 points on the day, and uh, up 25.83 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume. 477.9 million eos by the same symbol eos in a fifth trading at three and 81 that's up 0 0.05 points on the day and up two and a quarter point for the week 24 hour traded volume 1.2 billion litecoin ltc in at fourth trading at 62 and 57 up two points even for the day and up 9.49 points on the week nearly nine and a half there 24 hour traded volume on litecoin guys was 1.6 billion xrp in at third trading at 31.9 cents up a quarter of a point for today and uh, up 2.08 points for the week. 24 hour traded volume on XRP guys was 540.4 uh, million. Uh, Ethereum ETH in its second trading at 142 and 12 up 1.18 points on the day up 3.94 points on the week. 24 hour traded volume 3.8 billion. Bitcoin BTC in at first trading at 4,000 now 4,055 I'm sorry 4,055 and 20 cents. That's up uh, just over half a, a, a Percentage point for the day is at 0.53% and uh, up 2.67 points for the week. 24-hour traded volume was 8.3 billion. And that's going to do it for uh, the coin market cap readout, uh, state of the market capitalization, etc. And um, you're looking at uh, Bitcoin, specifically Bitcoin on Coinbase right now, and uh, we're sitting at 4,965. Uh, bouncing around, uh, there's some bullish activity. Uh, so uh, let me just read some trending stories real quick and then we'll jump over there and figure out what the hell is going on. Uh, for trending stories, 10 hours ago, Trezor is coming to Monero GUI soon. That's cool. Uh, 13 hours ago, uh, love it or hate it, Justin Sun's Tron is winning the DAP war hands down. Uh, well, you know where I stand with that. Uh, 13 hours ago, also from blocked.com, Cardano price prediction. Okay, I don't really care about price predictions. Um, and you would think I would, right? But uh, I don't know. I, I, I blurted my philosophy out on that last night. So uh, you can go and check out the, um, the TA. There's two TAs, one in the morning, one at night. For the 16th, it's uh, block squawk number 41. So uh, you can go check that out if you want. 16 hours ago uh, from multiple sources, including the Bitcoinist.com. According uh, to them, Winklevoss says crypto doesn't need rules cryptocurrency companies do um and that's going to be it um some uh, news articles talking about bitcoin breaking the four thousand mark uh, which they did you know uh yesterday it's just um yeah i mean we're we're here but i i talked about this several days ago uh, ago guys you can go and look and and see um i did kind of I was expecting a platform last night. I thought that platform was going to turn into uh, like a bull flag, but it looks like it may actually continue into uh, into a platform. Uh, I don't think we're going to break much higher than uh, 4,010 this hour or even the next couple. I mean, we may, uh, but right now we're approaching uh, over or overbought territory. So I think we're, we're fixing to come down and we're going to remain in this consolidation pattern. Um, and, uh, and that's not a prediction. Uh, I'm not telling you to go and, and make your financial decisions based on this. As always, uh, this remains uh, uh, an opinion podcast. Not, it's not like a predictive uh, Bitcoin you know, price prediction type thing. Uh, I'm really quite against that. Uh, nobody knows where the market's going. It's true what, uh, what was said in uh, the Wolf of Wall Street that nobody, whether you're Warren Buffett or Jimmy Buffett, knows where the market is, is going. However, we can make uh, uh, intelligent uh, guesses uh, based off of um, all the information that we can process and muster and then manage our risk. And I think that that is where the magic of uh of markets and trading the fascinating part of it especially happens is where you manage your risk it's not really trying to um predict where the price is gonna go uh, but i've said enough of that for a week guys so i'm gonna leave that there uh let's take a, a look back at this chart again 
Uh, let me see if that's going to be more pleasing now that writing is in the way. I'll get rid of that later. Um, so just to recap, let's kind of pull out, look at the daily chart. So as you all know, just to recap, back in November, we did this huge drop. Everybody was thinking I had all these lines written. Everybody was thinking that Bitcoin was going to break out to the upside. And there was a breakout, but it was a breakout to the downside. Uh, and then we've been consolidating down here. Uh, along what uh, several analysts call the bottom, right around 3,000. Some people think it's going to still go lower. That's a possibility. Uh, but right now we're here. So I kind of try to stay away from the, the four hour uh, just because it doesn't work well with with me. Um, so let's, let's kind of look at the one hour here. Now, uh, in the process of kind of breaking down, we had these series of like uh, bull flags and then rectangles or platforms. Uh, and uh, and that's been going on since February, right? So February, we had these series of, of, of uh, breakouts and then it kind of all came crashing down um, on uh, 24 February, 23 February around that time. And, um, and then we kind of, jumped into this thing but that whole process of those bull flags but everything that happened in february and early march kind of set me up for this beautiful pitchfork i'm like really fond of pitchforks right now guys beautiful pitchfork that i was able to kind of lay in and it's got uh additional um additional channels on the outside of the pitchfork guys that's why it looks all crazy uh but you know, just a couple of weeks ago, I noticed, or maybe a week ago, I noticed that we were kind of forming like this, uh, like triangular formation that you see right here, right? And so I kind of took that. I noticed we we're in this trend channel. That's what these lines are about going up from uh, the 6th of March through eh, approximately the 10th of March. So I saw us in a trend, started drawing that. Noticed that we started breaking down below that. And, uh, and so I kind of started drawing this like triangular formation. Noticed it fit it kind of into the whole pitchfork of things. And so what do we do when we see these kind of formations that point us to a specific day and point in time? We start looking at the end of that formation. And so that's what I did like really hours before this thing broke out, guys. And you can go look at this again on YouTube and listen to it on Anchor and, and, and visit my, uh, my, my Twitter page. Where is it? Uh, this one right here. Joel, uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way, at Joel Benavides. So um, you see down there, oh, I need to really get used to doing this. Where am I? Yeah, there you go. So, okay, so you see down there uh, that I drew those little fan things, those projection things, right? And, um, and I drew one immediately after the candle, and then I drew one towards the end of the first possibility in this triangular formation and, and, a, and a tertiary one at the very end and so like really right after i went to sleep it broke out to the upside um you know and i was expecting it go up or down but i wasn't expecting it to go far beyond anything in this like in any of the uh, uh deviations in this in this pitchfork right because it seemed to adhere better to the uh lines of deviation within this pitchfork than it did the trend channels i was drawing so I was grateful for that. Um, and sure enough, like it hit uh, the next uh, uh, segment of deviation within the pitchfork that I had drawn, which was right around 40, 40 20 uh, on the 16th of March, which is yesterday, right? So I was like, yay, right? And so I did a podcast immediately afterwards. Um, and then we started kind of breaking down. Uh, later on that day, I, I, I came back on last night and I suggested that we were on our way down and that we could be going into a kind of uh, like a bull flag formation. That's what these little fuchsia lines are about, uh, which with the tight uh, wicks on the bull flags seemed to suggest that we were going to break out to the upside or that there was um, a, 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 a measure of confidence in the market, right? I started really looking at that. Now we're here. Now we're down where we started. Let's zoom into like 15 minutes and really start looking at what's going on here. So there was like kind of like a bull pull and I did some, some measurements. As I, and I was thinking it could come out as far as like a couple of days, right? So where am I? Yeah, so I was thinking that we could be in like a consolidation period 
for, I don't know, until the 22nd of March. Um, but I really was thinking that we were going to be in a tighter range. Uh, but we kind of have come down. That might be the Fibonacci. I, I, I mentioned that last night. I still haven't drawn the Fibonacci. Shame on me. Uh, but that might be the Fibonacci right there at like 618. Um, but it looks like we're coming back up from that level. Uh, so we could still kind of remain in like a, like a consolidation. It'll be interesting to see how things play out. Uh, because right now we're kind of in no man's land, right? Like, we, like this, the price action has been re adhering to like, uh, like the extreme levels, the support and resistance within this pitchfork. And it's kind of floating right there in the middle. So I'm not expecting it to like that for long. Um, well, we'll continue to watch it, uh, see how things go, and uh, and keep you guys abreast of any future movements. Um, if you have any questions, you can reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Joel Benavides, J-O-E-L-B-N-A-B-I-D-E-Z. Uh, you can also listen to this podcast on Anchor. It's anchor uh, anchor.fm forward slash block squawk. Block squawk is B-L-O-K-S-Q-U-A-W-K. And, uh, and then we're also on like YouTube. You can type in Block Squawk on YouTube, uh, Spotify, kind of all over the place. Uh, but if you want to reach out to me uh, with uh, gripes, complaints, concerns, call me on my bullshit. I'm at twitter.com forward slash Joel Benavides. And I'd be happy to hear from you and, uh, and address any grievances. It would be my absolute pleasure. Or if you know you're old school, you can reach out to me on email. I'm, jo I'm at joel.benavides at gmail.com. Same spelling. Uh, that's going to do it for us because I was kind of uh, in a rush today. Uh, but I will be watching this tonight. Guys, remember everything that you heard on the YouTube stream, podcast, etc. is not financial advice. My opinions are my own. I'm not a financial advisor, etc. So um, have fun. Uh, with uh with the charts and with bitcoin tonight i know i'm going to be watching it hope you're going to be watching it too uh so reach out to me on social media if you have uh any any uh issues or you just want to talk shop uh we'll see you guys later uh just uh as a on a party note it is 8 46 p.m central standard time on the 17th of march 146 universal time and bitcoin is sitting at four thousand and three dollars and one cent on coinbase uh, so that's going to do it for us, and we are out of here. Peace.